Hello and welcome back. My name is Franny and today I have a tag for you. Since it's Thanksgiving today, happy Thanksgiving, I wanted to film a video that had a bit of coziness and happiness and thankfulness to it. I discovered Queer Eye this year. It's a TV show that streams on Netflix. This TV show, just, just watching it, makes me so so happy it's basically these five gay guys who go and help out people to try and reinvent themselves and help them out with their lives and stuff and i need them in my life just i need your help come to me the thing about this tv show is that when you watch it i think that you cannot help but smile and feel happy and not alone and it gives you that warmth that makes you feel like everything is going to be okay everything can get better and i think that that feeling is kind of what you should be feeling on thanksgiving being grateful for what you have and to be hopeful for the future and happy about what you have and who you are and what you are and so today i'm going to do the queer eye book tag 10 friends pick a book that is good on the inside but could dress better and for this one i'm gonna go with the book of essie by megan mclean weir i really really loved this book it's one of my favorite of 2019 the cover of this book like after reading it that girl on the cover makes me think of Essie like I think it portrays her character perfectly just how she looks and her expression it just everything works but if I hadn't read the book yet and if I saw that cover on a bookshelf I'm not sure I would pick the book up and also the color of the font of the title on her face put like that there is there's something that doesn't work so i think that this book needs a better cover because it's an amazing book and people need to read it because it's really really good it's literary fiction by the way this is not ya at all it's literary fiction and just looking at the cover you would never guess it so it needs a better job Jonathan Van Ness. Pick a book that could be trimmed down. For this one, I'm gonna go with Hum if you don't know the words. I've been listening to the audiobook of this book for months and I'm still not done with it. And it's just so slow. It takes almost half of the book for Robin and Beauty to meet. Almost done with it and they're just getting now to the juicy stuff that the story is really good but it would need some good editing to actually be as good as it could be bobby burke pick a book that needs a new home i chose a book that i think a lot of people would love and i liked it but i had some problems with it so if i had had the physical edition i would have gifted to somebody else but i read the web comic version of it on a sunbeam by tilly walden first of all it has a very peculiar art style that was kind of beautiful but at the same time i think that the text was not easy to read at least i had some problems with it but my main problem was that i didn't get the non-binary character there's a non-binary character but it's a female world like there are only female there are no males so if that's your premise how can you have a non-binary character if you don't have two different genders am i making any sense I, I hope i'm making sense but yeah that was one of the things that was like what what are you trying to do here but yeah Anyway, uh, I think that some people would love this graphic novel. I just wasn't one of them. Then there's Anthony. Pick a book that didn't serve you well. I watched the original video and the way in which you're supposed to interpret this question is choose a book that basically talked about something like an issue or a theme but didn't do it justice quite well and the book that I decided to pick for this question is Every Day by David Levithan. I loved the idea behind this. I loved the concept. You basically have a character who is actually a soul and every day 
this soul wakes up in a different body. And I think that that's an interesting reflection on gender fluidity. But at the same time, I feel like it wasn't explored as well as I thought it could have been. And I think that the main protagonist was way too judgmental considering their situation. And also I think that they were too not respectful of other people's sexuality. And that really upset me. I think that that was pretty ironic considering that you have a non-binary pansexual character and the book was written by a gay author. That didn't sit well with me, so it didn't serve me well. Caramo, pick a character that needs therapy. Definitely gonna go with Nina Hill from The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by um, Abby Waxman. Honestly, there are moments where this book makes me laugh because Nina Hill has a very funny and quirky inner voice. But at the same time, there are moments where I'm like so exasperated and infuriated with her. I'm just like, you need to chill. I get what the author was trying to do with her. She was trying to have a book nerd main character kind of brought to the extreme, which is very extreme. But I'm like, okay, you can be a book nerd, but like other people don't have to be and you need to accept them for who they are because people cannot just like perfectly fit into your own patterns and labels and stuff. Like you need to be more acceptful of other people. And I'm just like, geez, she needs a therapist. So this was the Queer Eye book tag. And now of course I'm going to tag some people. Mina at Mina Reads. Paulina at Superpow. I'm going to tag Jesse at Book Ties and Books. Did I get it right? I always get it wrong. <laughs> yes, it's Book Ties and Books. <laughs> Sorry. And then I'm going to tag um, Magical Molly and Anna Goldberg. I hope that you're going to do this tag. If I haven't tagged you and you want to do this tag, you can do so and leave me the link in the description. Well, not in the description, in the comments down below so I can come and check it out. Also, if you want to um, answer to these questions in the comments, you can do so. If you want to comment on any books that I talked about in this video, please do so because you you guys know that I love talking to you and I wish you a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you soon in another video. Warm hugs!